Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial. Um, today we're going to be working on making some mixed media-ish po uh, pockets, envelopes. So again, I watched Julie over at Jules Designs. I watched this video over at Christmas time and I'm just now getting back to wanting to give it a try. I love the layers that she did. She's got She's using napkins and uh, stamping and embossing and sprays, and I thought we would go ahead and give it a try. The one thing I'm going to add um, in to mine is a little bit of gold foil. So um, I've got my, and then I'm also really working on using supplies that I have in my studio that I have forgotten about. So I just recently bought a pantry, an over the door pantry. Uh, thing that goes over my closet door so it now holds all my sprays and I can see them like when I'm working at my desk I'm sitting here they're in my face so it's a good good thing so I have when I first started mixed media I got a lot of these Lindy's stamp gang sprays and they are absolutely epic they don't have um, you'd think that they would come out and this color would be just strictly peachy peachy but it's not this is um, my mojito green. This is one of my favorite greens in the line. I also pulled out Bayo, Bio Boogie Gold. Uh, Opal Sea Oats. It's a kind of a, and these are um, an iridescent kind of color. They also sell a flat. Uh, they call them flats and they're pretty cool too. I tend towards the shimmer though. And then this one is cactus gold and then this one is saltwater taffy, my favorite pink. So we've got those to do some spraying on. I've got my uh, black archival ink here. We're going to do some stamping with my favorite Paris stamp. This I believe is uh, Heidi, no not Heidi Swap. Ah. Uh, Mm, I can't think of her name, um, but I'll link it. It's it's one of my most used supplies, so I will be sure to get that out to you. So I already took my envelopes. I just pulled from my bin of coffee dyed materials. I have a bunch of CD pockets and file folders and doilies and things, and I had these envelopes, so I thought we would go ahead and use these. Now, you might notice that we do have a little bit of a tear here. I'm not worried about that because we're gonna be applying matte medium over this and that's going to help seal that up and, and strengthen it a little bit. So I used um, some of the folders you guys are probably familiar with if you've been watching. I used this folder on this envelope and I used this this embossing folder on this smaller envelope and it's going to be one that can fold down from the top of a page potentially i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to use them but or in what journal i'm hoping to use uh, one or two in the sweet yvonne journal but we'll see how that goes and then the third one i use is just this script love is patient um, love is kind uh, does not envy etc and that's what I did on this one it didn't come all the way to the bottom but I'm not worried about that and then I just took it again and put it on the uh, flap there so that's what we're working with today so I think it would be wise to go ahead and well I don't know how stamped how well stamping is going to work here because we've got embossing but we're going to try it anyway because I've got it out you know why not so I'm going to try to go directionally. You know what? I think I need something different than a, a script stamp then because that's going to be silliness to put script on script, right? Let me see what else I've got here that might be cool. I've got that circle one that I like to use a lot. Um, and let's see what else we've got. I was not thinking about that, you guys. I'm so sorry. How about some numbers? Let's try the numbers. Stuck together. These letters would also be cool because they're different than the script. So I think they would be okay. I'm just digging to my to a little bit deeper here. Oh, we've got some postage that might be cool. Something sink to the bottom of the drawer, you know. I've got airmail. We've got um, this like uh, cross hatching stamp. Um, a, a male one. I think we'll use some of those. And then this is another dot one. 
So let's go ahead and just do some stamping on here. And again, I'm going to go the direction of the script. So in this case, it's going that way. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this dot one and just get some dots here and there. So I'm going to move on to the other two envelopes and do likewise. This one we can use the script because it's it's an image. So I'm going to use my Paris stamp. Tell me what you think of the lighting. I have my ring light on just because again I'm messing with this bit stability of my of my arm of my webcam, and I'm not sure why it's being so weird, but it's not. It's not behaving normally. And this is cool because this is actually in uh, a stamp, I mean a postage thing is in the embossing folder. So that's kind of cool. Let's go up here at the top and then we'll be done. Ooh, cool. Okay, let's do the last one. And this is a script one, so I think we're going to stay away from more script. Let's just use these circles again. done with stamps so if you are going to try this you could use whatever stamps um, fits your fancy but I'm going to grab some alcohol here and try to wash my hands off a little bit I do not like rough ink at all I usually put my gloves on so it doesn't get all up on see how it's all on my fingernails and it doesn't come off like the other ink does but oh well that's all right Okay, so now I thought we would start one at a time and just do some do some spraying first. So I'm going to, oh, I didn't do anything on that. Interesting. You know what I want to do before we move on? Is I'm going to go over this texture with some, some vintage photo. Let me find my vintage photo brush. Just kind of highlight that texture. And on the other side, we might do something else. Um, I probably should have thought about that. Um, the stamping or the inking isn't going to be the same because that's the debossed side. But let's just give it a little bit of flavor anyway. side and let's go ahead and start with this one so I do want this one to be in Yvonne's journal I already know so I'm feeling like this is really really weak 
I'm trying to think about how I can fortify that. Um, I think my matte medium will help, but um, yeah, I think the matte medium will help. Oh, before we do that though, I want you to look at the napkins. So these are the napkins I pulled out. I haven't torn them down. They are down to one layer, but these are the three that I picked. So um, I think I want to do this one for this, for this, um, goodness, I cannot speak, this envelope. So I'm gonna grab a brush. I'm gonna try to find my water brush. I always lose it. Of course, as soon, as soon as I say, I'll be right back. It's in my hands. <laughs> so, so the way you do water cutting is you basically take, I like a water brush. Um, I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out over there just to make sure it's coming out. There it is. And I'm going to just kind of cut around the areas that I want. So I'm going to, oh, that was a lot. Oh, that was a lot. take a peek at this. Oh, that's really pretty actually. Really pretty. Okay. I think I want one more piece. So I wish this wasn't so darn wet. Um, I want to grab this section here. this away though. I will not be throwing that away. Just going to set it over there. Okay, so now we're going to bring this back over and I'm I think I'm going to bring it into this part. I feel like I need to stamp on there. It feels like it's really not going together. So let me get a little bit of script on there just a moment. want it to look uh, you know dramatically different just a hint of the same things is always unifying for whatever you're working on perfect perfecto and I'm not worried about the stamps the airmail stamps that's fine so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of matte medium um, Julie uses um, like watered down uh, what did she call I think oh, it was just glue if I recall um, I don't you I don't do that I mean I just there's no reason why not to but I don't let's think about where we want these first Karen eh? so I feel like I want this one down here oh that's so beautiful oh I always forget about my napkins so I was um, reminded um, not only because I was looking at this video again uh, from Julie but I sent a bunch of napkins to Judy uh, with her journal, the Winter One journal, and um, and it was reminded me of how many I have, and how I'm not using them, and how wonderful they are. So I thought we would. Oh, you know what? I don't want to do that first. Ah. Okay, guys, I lost track. I do want to get some matte medium on here because I'm going to do the gold foiling. So let me just put some here and there, so we can get some gold foiling on here. Another thing I, I saw up on my shelf, and I'm like, Karen, use your supplies. This is a tragedy. Okay, so I feel like, um, again, I don't know a lot about gold foil, but I think I need to dry it before I do anything else so it doesn't move. 
we get a little bit more in this area. So I will be right back when this is dry. Okay, I think we can move along to um, to getting the papers, the napkins glued down. So I'm just getting a little more matte medium. If that moves at all, it's not a big deal. So it doesn't look like it's going to really shift, but it's going to be interesting because it's going to shine through, hopefully shine through the napkin. That's the current plan. You want plenty of glue because that's what makes the napkin or tissue paper or whatever that that um, stuff is. It'll make it more translucent into the that into your project. Okay, so I'm going to go gently on the top. I don't know if the gold's going to show. Maybe. Looks like I can see some right there. That's kind of cool. You want to be pretty gentle at this stage because your napkin can tear, which is not a huge issue either. But you just get a good layer on there. Okay. So beautiful. I forgot how lovely this is. We will cut off that excess. I don't know. You can see the, the bits of the gold, but I don't know if you can tell it's gold or not. So that might have been... Uh, kind of pointless but and I think this one I'm gonna put this way on my on the um, this you know what this is called the flap <laughs> come in with the sprays after we probably should have put the sprays on first but it's all right we'll just be a little bit a little bit um, less generous with that when we get there so I'm gonna put just this last piece on here just kind of working in that that rule of threes where you um, you you do put three of something or an odd number of something three five seven so on like if you're painting, like I learned this in watercolor, if you're painting, you know, a rose, you could, you could put two on one side connected and then put another, another rose somewhere else and that's, or more or five or whatever you choose. So that is cool. Okay. That is cool. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of matte medium just everywhere because again, that's not going to hurt it. And it will help strengthen the whole envelope because it's you know matte medium is a glue so it has uh, dual purposes okay set that aside this time I'm not going to put the gold foil underneath because that was silliness so let's get this envelope out and see what we can do with her and um, I think I want to use this one this one. Okay, I don't have anything wet on my table. This one I'm just going to tear with my hands because it's not really very distinct. So I think we'll, we're just going to get the color mostly. loving the shape of this one but we're gonna go with it I'm gonna go a little bit lower than I was planning I don't want to go over that edge though necessarily not sure why oh I love napkins so much you know how you forget if you haven't used a supply or a technique for a while you can forget that you loved it and why you loved it. 
that's where I'm at. Okay, let's get a little bit more of this. It's not very, it's very nondescript uh, napkin, but that's okay. Let's get a little bit of this up, up here. Maybe I'll go over that, um, the flap on this section. lacking I think that because I did that edge there it's not it's and I'm not feeling it I'm gonna grab another piece here and just see what we've got here Let's see if we can pull in a little bit of something something here again I don't want too much maybe that section there I have so many of these napkins you guys it's so ridiculous because you know you buy a pack and you get a pack and what do you do you sit down and you use one for a project so how many do you have left the other whatever 19 or however many is in the package we used to have a store called tuesday morning here in the northwest and it they've all closed and it makes me sad because they had really really great napkins so i'm feeling like i want to Turn this off so I can maybe use it on one more place. So let me do that really quick. I could actually just tear it. It's pretty wet still, and I don't want to. I don't want to mess anything up at this point. So. So Julie's, at least for her Christmas ones, um, which is the original video I watched, she had some really great napkins that were uh, very distinct images. So let's go ahead and just get this, this extra off of this for now. Not all of it, but just get it out of my way. So I can set that one aside to dry for a spell. And then this is our last one. And this is the one that's going directionally this way. And this is our last envelope and our last napkin. Oh my goodness. This is, um, I t this is one of the very first, this is a napkin I used in one of the very first mixed media projects that I did on YouTube. It was called um, Blooming. It was called I'm Be I'm blooming from the wound. I'm blooming from the wounds from the. I'm blooming from the wounds from where once I bled. Oh, it was so impactful. I was still deep into my healing journey when I did that, and oh my goodness, it was so meaningful. Okay. I think somebody bought it finally. It sat in my stash for a really long time. But, oh my goodness, that's so... Oh, I want that right there. Right there. Crossing over. Crossing over. Let's give a whole layer of matte medium here um, to this, this baby as well. Again, it helps to strengthen it. encourage you my friends to get out your napkins because this is epic it's interesting I'm, I'm 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 interested to see what happens with the embossed texture when these are completely dry I wonder if we can come back and accent any of that with some ink or some gold or something I'm not sure oh that is just perfect and on that side, I'm going to do something completely different because that'll be on the other side of, of the um, the flip. So I'm only doing one side because it's there's so much drying and and stuff to contend with. So let's get another piece of this. I'm not going to bring it all into camera because um, I've got wet. I've got moisture here, so I'm just going to do it kind of off to the corner.
So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take a moment and dry all these and come back to you with the next step. I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided that I'm not going to put any more gold on any of the other ones. I'm just going to be content with this one. I'm going to show it to you up close here in a second. Try not to cut my envelope open. I feel like I'm getting more than my napkin there. Well, I did. I'll have to glue that shut. That's okay. No biggie. <clears throat> make sure all this is, is still open. Got a little bit of a tear there. Oh man, that all got pressed down again. Interesting. I had this all pried open. Oh no. I'm betting that what's happening here is that we've got wet. So that is not working well. And I think that the reason why is because it was, I had this all pried open before I turned the camera on, but when you get that wet medium on the other side, um, we're going to have to just have this be a flip. It's not going to be able to be a pocket, but that is okay too. We just learn, live and learn, right? And try it differently the next time. But I love that so much. Look at that up close. So beautiful. It doesn't even really need anything else, but I do want to use the sprays, so because that's what I had in my in my mind. And let's see if that happened with this one as well. It didn't. This one has been retained, so I'm not sure. I don't know if it's that if it's the kind of dye or the embossing folder that made that be a little bit more intense. But look what we got going on here. That's just Oh, it's, we're getting it apart a little bit, but I don't want to impact the front either. See, we cut that open. That's a problem. Oh, you know what? We might be okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. That one's really stuck for some reason. Really stuck. My main concern is I don't want to force it because... I don't want it to tear through the front. So we're going to just be good with that being a not being a pocket. Um, apologize for the repetition there. I've already said that. Just trimming it off. It's a little bit cool to the touch still, meaning it's not 100% dry, but that might be to our advantage with the inks. So. Let's go ahead and start with this one. Let those have a little bit more time to, oh, I forgot an edge. Uh, a little bit more time to dry because they are a little bit cool still. You can also just tear these um, with your fingers, but I'm not. Okay, so there we go. We've got some milkiness in there. I'm not sure what that's about. I'm gonna try to turn this off. Generally, generally don't like it on, but that's so cool. You can see the gold. Look at that, because I'm looking at it in the in the camera, in the monitor. Coolio. Okay, so what do we want to bring out in this one? So I think I want a little bit of, of the pink, so I'm going to just shake this up. Oh, we're, we're splashing out. We're splashing out. Just cover that while I shake it. There we go. I'm just going to spray a little bit on here just to see. Again, we're just playing. I don't know how much it's going to show with all the um, the brown, but it's really cool when it dries because it's iridescent. It's just gorgeous and it's going to pool up in areas that there's embossing. So we're getting a lot of wet spots there on this, but this is the most... Uh, my mojito green. I do want a little bit of this as well. I'm going straight in, even though that pink is wet. It's okay. Oh, that's so pretty. You guys are going to be shocked when you see how this dries. This, these, these Lindy sprays are amazing. Really, really amazing. So I think I want to try this Opal Sea Oats. Opal. Sea oats, yes. 
And this is just a gold, so I can put it kind of everywhere. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So I'm gonna see if I can hold it up for you on the camera here. See if you can capture any of that yet. So that, some of that texture, this should, this should really have been um, gessoed, but um, that's okay. I wanna see what this is gonna do, so I'm gonna pause again and um, dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, so when I do this again, not if, but when, I will just sew this envelope first, but look at this. Can you see all that shimmer? I mean, it is amazing. Look at it where the text is. See how it settles in? It's everywhere. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love that. There is nothing else that needs to happen with this. Um, I do have some moisture here. I didn't let it dry completely. I'm just going to pat it a little bit. And it can be hard to see, um, since we use multiple colors, where the pink is in particular, but I know that it's there, and I'm sure when it's completely dry, it's going to show up. So I'm going to set that over there out of my way, and let's go ahead and come in with this one. This is very, very fun. Okay. What do we have here? Um, this one, I want to make sure we don't... Oh, did I check this one? I didn't, didn't check it. Okay, we're open, we're open. So what I'm gonna do on the, the two that didn't get the, um, the opening destroyed, I'm gonna get a piece of parchment paper and I'm gonna slide it in there while we're working, just to help to keep that from happening. So I'm just gonna tear that, um, I'll just tear it right here. There we go. Let me do the same with the other one, just since we've got the parchment out before we get further messy. So let me just tear that down a little bit. Parchment paper is a great thing to have in your studio. Um, it's, it works as a great palette um, when you're just working with some acrylic paints. And it, I also use it in my journals if I if I've glued something into my journal and I want to hurry on to another page and keep working, I can keep working because I've got parchment protecting the pages so they don't touch each other. So there we go. So let's go ahead and do this one. So this is the direction that we're working with. So what do we want on this one? It's a little bit damp still. I think we're going to go with the same colors. Maybe we'll bring in some of this peachy. This is... Um, Furry Navel, Furry Navel Peach. <laughs> oh, their names are hilarious too. Okay, let's get some of that on. This is probably a little bit bolder. Oh, very bold. Not sure that I like that, but we're gonna go with it because we, we're committed. And let's do a little bit of the pink too, that might help. And how about we go in with some of this what is this? This was the cactus gold. We already did that. I'll do this um, bio boogie gold. This is one of my favorite golds in the, the Lindy sprays. I mean, the effect is just uh, to die for because we don't really need the color um, for color sake because the napkin is giving us great color. So I'm going to try this too and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll probably have to let this dry some more, but look at that. Can you guys see the shimmer? It's just so beautiful. I love how it goes in around those, uh, the embossed words, and I think we'll be able to come in here with a little bit of something on the top of all that texture when these are completely dry. So this is not my favorite one in terms of the napkin placement, but I think it's okay. I'm just going to sop up any extra because we've got the effect that we wanted, so we can be good with that. And surprisingly, the other side is staying pretty clean, which is rare, actually. <laughs> so I'm going to set that aside and work on the very last one. So what do we want on this one? And this was one that was going to go this way. So I'm just want to get a visual here. I actually put those the wrong direction 
for how this envelope is going to be used but I think I'm going to go in with the, the mojito green and um, I'm going to step away and see if I've got some of my favorite yellow and I'll be right back. Yay, I do. Um, this is the Yellow Rose of Texas. It's an amazing color. So we're going to get a little bit of yellow in here, even though there's a lot of yellow in the flowers. It's okay. Oh, that's so beautiful. I don't want to do too much with this one. Um, let's go ahead and get some of this. This was the Opal Sea Oats. Amazon sells these. I think they come in a six pack. They're um, they're not cheap, but they last forever. Like I've been doing mixed media for about six years, I think, and I have never had to replenish anything. I other than I have bought another one of the Yellow Rose of Texas because it's my favorite. I'm gonna go in with a mojito. Did I do the mojito green already? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a final dry, make sure all of these are dry to completion, and I will be right back. Okay, my friends, this is glorious. So um, these are very weak, so I'm going to have to think about how I want to use them, um, but look at that. I hope you guys can see it okay. For some reason, we lost the definition of that rose big time. I'm not sure if it's the stamping that's behind it that's taking away from it but look at that it's it's gorgeous I just could not even have imagined anything better look at this one it's just I love how that that shimmer goes into all the crevices now that being said guys um, you can use mica sprays will work great I need to put this brush in water hold on let me just reach for my water bucket um, mica powders with in water would work just as well because they are generally uh, more often than not they are um, they are an iridescent they have that sparkle as well um, but yeah so you could there's not this is not the only product you could actually do this I mean not so much with like distress spray stains although you could get some colorizing with those um, but I'm going to do more of these, I think, for um, the journal, for Yvonne's journal, because I think that this would make a beautiful backdrop for one of the beautiful ladies that is going to go in her journal. I think it would be a really great collage base for it. So um, I'm thinking I want to do more. So I do want to go over these with some uh, Vintage Photo Archival Ink over all that texture. Fingers crossed that I don't wreck it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can bring. Oh, yeah. This is so cool, you guys. This is so incredibly cool. I wonder if that will help us get some something back in that area where that rose is. I'm not sure what happened there. Like, I looked, and all of a sudden it was like, what? Where did the. It looks like a blob now. I'm not sure why. These turned out better than I expected and very different from Julie's. I'm not going to decorate them on camera again because I just wanted to show you how to use the envelopes in this way and um, I will decorate them as I use them. So that is that. So that, that stamping, I mean that ink, I think it helped. Did it help? Yeah, it helped <laughs> as I put more on. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, let's do the same with this one. Ooh, this one's sprucing up beautifully. Beautifully. This is the Love Is embossing folder. Really, really beautiful. And you could do this however you want. You can throw your own your own um, spice into it and just go with whatever speaks to you and whatever supplies you have this is one of those projects that you could you you could do no matter what supplies you have it's very versatile so I'm gonna go oh this one's this one's really great I'm gonna show you these close up one more time before I let you go but oh my goodness oh my goodness 
I'm trying to be somewhat gentle because I don't want anything to tear. We already have this one. We can't get the envelope open, so that's okay though. No one will ever know but you and me and however many people watch the video. <laughs> but I am um, I'm a little bit closer to this to um, finalizing my ideas about the group, so stay tuned for that. So there we go. Look at that. Just simple, simple max mixed media. I love the gold. I think that. And you can see, so we've got the gold foil there, but we also have gold and, and like the shimmer that is just kind of crowding around some of that texture, which I think is really lovely. You can see it up here above that line. And here is this one. This one's not my favorite in any way, but I think it's lovely all the same. And uh, I'll take out that paper when everything is nice and dry, and then that one. So that is it for today, you guys. Thank you for coming along. I hope that you get messy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at how you can see that gold in, or that shimmer in that texture. Oh, but anyway, thanks for getting messy with me. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.